flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the There's a where? You need anything else? Let me know. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades. Broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. He sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyak plans to assassinate someone. We're gonna stop him before that happens, aren't we? Yes, we are. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel.
I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... <sighs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. I'll take it. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. What do you think, Mike? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh! 
Your shepherd? I, I didn't even think I Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. This might be useful. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. I just... he's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I know. I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not being irrational, Michael. I know. I trust you, Michael. What medical upgrades do you want to get for him? I don't know. Maybe we should ask random people on the street what they think. I'm getting the immuno booster. And a drink. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. This looks like the plane. I just got a refund and exchange note. Go pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab boundary. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Thade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel Converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse.
there he is. Shepard? Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! I see them! Then stay down! Hell of a shot! Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. Nice shot! Fire in the hole! So, Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. See that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, 
Working for the Blue Suns, I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need him hurt to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. This looks interesting. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Not close enough. So, Fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. That had to hurt. Maybe you should just tell us what we want to know. Maybe. I still haven't heard what you want. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <laughs> You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right, get off me! Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. 
kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. Maybe if she sees the blood trail to follow. Bastard! Did you really need to do that, Garrus? He'll survive, and maybe he'll think twice before he tries something like this again. CSEC won't let that happen, and you know it. Lucky for you, CSEC has some of the best doctors on the Citadel. Screw you, Garrus! Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Don't waste your time on him. Let Seasek deal with him now. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. Have you thought this through? You know what you're doing? No, but I'm not turning back now. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. You just want me to get him in position? Basically, keep him talking for a minute. When I've got him in my sights, I'll let you know. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sedonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night. Sick. And sweating. Each of their faces staring at me. Accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You've got to let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Adonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know 
know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You've got to go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. Two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you? Oh shit! Krios! I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't. If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? We don't have time for this. Oh, oh God, Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I carried for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. You made money using my likeness. I think I deserve some of the profits, don't you? Oh, sure. How about I just transfer some money to you? I mean, you know, why bother with all the lawyers and taxes and junk, huh? Tell me about Kel. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward, Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. 
I didn't want to do that, Mouse. We just don't have much time. Just go away, man. Mouse, I'm sorry too. Just go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Ah, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. If I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI sent to page him if c -Sec gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? I plan to improvise. No plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. One way or the other, he'll tell us what we need to know. I wish I felt your confidence. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? You ordered a hit on someone. You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you Mr. think you Kellum, are? I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out. As soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. What are you, fraud boy? His little apologist? Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Yeah, thought so. Chicken shit. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being patient. 
Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right, fucking quit it. Ain't worth this. Joram Talid, Turian running for office in the Zakira Ward. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You, you played me. Thanks for the info, Elias. I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow. Better than you will, asshole. When I get my comlink back, I'm gonna... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. We need to stop this assassination. Can you get us to the 800 blocks? Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance cat box. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I need you to stay close or we'll lose him. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Don't let him get away. I'm losing him. Stay close. No problem so far.
his guard and talk to the bartender. Looks like a... couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyat in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? What? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is here? Dangerous? Get out of here, now, before it blows. Blows? What? The... Run! All right. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Whatever you want. CSEC. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. All of you, back off! I'll kill him! No, you won't. Oh my gods. Hostages only work when your enemy cares if they live. Interesting solution. He was a racist and a criminal. Isn't that enough? To some, I suppose. I read your files. Isn't that what you do? Kill people who do bad things? Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you could die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys! Take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that.
How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Oh? Is that why you're sitting here in public, whining loud enough for anyone walking by to overhear? Fine. You wanna know? Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened. After the Geth, a few months assumptions are deep. Next. I overheard you talk. It's a private. I'd We've been flagged as a. I'm not holding my breath. I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of CSEC's undercover agents. Did you talk with them? Did they seem like geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of geth. I can assure you that those two aren't geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next! So? Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. few minutes to talk. Very well. I am... I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Lakes are down, terminals on the target skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Urashu. She met my eyes through the scope and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Cole yet were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians, a slaver ring that was preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me, so they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I can speak that. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. 
When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. I tell you, honey, isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Warriors who's lost. Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with... Were you around when the female camps and the children over last night? No, you don't... Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot. Except you. 
I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. One of the children, probably five years from the right. He had my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. Son! Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Let's see what the human can do. Watch it, human.
seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. Now what's this? Here, try this. <laughs> Looks like Gurs finally found someone to follow around. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the followers? You know you desire to stop. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. How do I... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erd not. You abandon many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Normandy died. More permanently than I did. I'm back, fighting the odds. Maybe you can help. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. What do the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, 
or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Jorgal has the longest breeding line. Ganatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. I have nothing to say to alien- Shepard. What can I do for you, my friend? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Fip. You see that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Get, I'll tear you apart. Watch it. You go beyond yourself, Gatatagu Vank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. 
I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. There's some fire, and from an alien. Oh, the shame the seeps on those who whine like pups. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Grunt will strengthen Clan Nerdnaught. Name our target, and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The Keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars in the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. First the Krogan conquered to Chaka. And mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. I 
in to help.
killed that one. We have company. Good. I want more. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure, no alien meddling in your construction, just the warlord of Kier. Come on, Uvek. You want to try killing him? Give it your best shot. Not yet. This deserves consideration. Why? I'm not getting any more natural. You are powerful. You are a mistake. But your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. If I know Grunt, your answer's coming at muzzle velocity. You do know Grunt. This Farron is dead. the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnacht. You may now own property, join the army, and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. This is valuable. since my turn in the right. Next you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. Put down some real money, human. I Put down some real money, human. Human. Rex.
Alex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it, one of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics, totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members, like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen, only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for gold.
Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. That body, human, need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles, track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject, victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner, maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level concept testing. Native Tachanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life, makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High-level tests on Varen. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. I am the speaker for Clan Warlock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Warlock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. You have a Salarian named Malon. I'm not leaving without him. The Salarian stays with us. His work is the tool of our conquest. Plan Warlock will cure the genophage and spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. Appears they discovered Malon's work. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellion will- You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target. Headed for combat. Feel the blood rage! Labs likely through there. Can smell antiseptic, hint of dead flesh. Just get us there.
Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains, live tissue, clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morden. Not developing, modifying, much more difficult, working within confines of existing genophage, a hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable, could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable, one in 1,000, perfect target, optimal growth, like gardening. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes, could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No, murdered no one. Altered fertility, prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved galaxy. Destroyed Rachni. Genophage, not punishment. Simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. The effects on Tachanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes, refused to negotiate. Turian defeat not complete. Krogan could have recovered, attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage, us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. What was it like working on the Genophage modification project? <sighs> Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchaka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. Sounds like you were pretty important. How'd you go from that to running a clinic on Omega? Wanted to heal people. Good use of last decade. Something easy. No ethical concerns. Understand rationale for modified genophage. Right choice, still. Hard to sleep some nights. We're not gonna find mail and staring at consoles. Come on. Broken. Female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, warlock female willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. I didn't expect you to be disturbed by the sight of a dead Krogan. What? Why? Because of genophage work? Irrelevant. No. Causative. Never experimented on live Krogan, never killed with medicine, her death not my work, only reaction to it. Goal was to stabilize population. Never wanted this. Can see it logically, but still unnecessary. Foolish, waste of life, hate to see it. I didn't think you'd had much direct contact with things like this. Did you come to Tachanka after dropping your plague? Yearly recon missions. Water, tissue samples, ensure no mistakes. Superiors offered to carry it on. Refused. Need to see it in person. Need to look. Need to see. Accept it as necessary. <sighs> see small picture. Remind myself why I run a clinic on Omega. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morden. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives, then saw results. 
Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races, no answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor who killed millions. Modified Genophage project great in scope. Scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic. Not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, Genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill. Still, caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all the way? How do you justify it? Wheel of life. Popular Salarian concept. Similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. Appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn. Adapt. Improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix. Cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Brachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase, all pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from galaxy. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion. Only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives. War would have ended. So you're willing to sterilize a species based on the evidence of a few simulations? Yes. Millions of data points. Years of arguments. Countless scenarios. All noted Krogan fragmentation as dangerous. No unified culture to support repopulation. Would have been war. Turians and humans destroying Krogan utterly. Xenophage was better. Saved lives. Look at the dead woman, Morden. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. Now what's this? Looks so good. Are you injured? They gave me things. Injections mostly. Sometimes gas. Made me sick. Fever. Aches. Can't keep food down. They're fixing the genophage. I'm making a sacrifice for all Krogan. Do you need help getting out of here? You should be clear to the exit. Don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. You've got a bruised ego. 
You got caught and beaten, so you tell yourself it was for something important. That's not true. I need to stay. They're gonna cure us all. You're not a real Krogan. When a real Krogan gets knocked down, he gets back up. I did. I got back up every time they hit me. So many times. You're lying there right now like a Vortia grubbing in the mud. You gonna just lie there, Vortia? Screw you, human. Nobody says that to me. Nobody keeps me down. Damn right they don't. Now get back to Clan Erdnaught and report in. Go. Go. Nicely done. Fortunately, subject is unlikely to be contagious. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot could cause a significant explosion. Burn through cloak and armor. this. Malin. Alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student. I looked up to you. Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. It takes a bit more to put things right. I can deal with that. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morton, did you ever perform experiments like this? No, never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That'll be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse, Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? 
The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God, and we failed. We only made things worse, and I'm going to fix it. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warelock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warelock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Warelock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Warelock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. We're shutting your lab down, Malin. Shutting down more than that. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morton. You're not a murderer. No. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. You heard the professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morton. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. If you think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified genophage. Should destroy this. Malin's work could cure genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. Keep the data. Better to have it and not need it. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure, but closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. I'd like to look around a bit more. Surprising from Krogan. Glad to see it. In addition, 
Killing the Thresher Maw has produced several breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepard. Ah. One wrong step, Shepard. Welcome to the clan, or not Grunt. Honored to be a part of it. Good for you. Now go find something else to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. You just saved me three days' work, human. You've earned my time if you want it. What's that you're working on there? I'm tuning up these machines for battle. It's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp. It could be worse. A couple more hits on the broadside, and this thing would have crumbled. Krogan placed so much importance on martial strength. How did you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnaught. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still surviving. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. So... You're our new warrior. The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass up my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. This looks interesting. Don't touch anything. One more win in the pits, and I'm retiring.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me, betrayed my work disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin, otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now, at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices, bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard and we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. The flagship of the rogue ex-Spectre, Saren Arterius. Sovereign is a devastating dreadnought of unprecedented power. At two kilometers long, Sovereign was believed to have been powered by a gigantic Element Zero core, the only energy source potent enough to land the massive vessel on a planet. During the Eden Prime War, the ship unleashed its peerless destructive force against which Citadel Council ships were defenseless. With a virtually indestructible flagship and a crew of fanatic Geth and Krogan, Saren nearly succeeded in wiping out all his enemies. Only the resourcefulness and bravery of the commander and crew of the SSV Normandy stopped him. The overwhelming power of Sovereign ignited bizarre speculation in tabloid media that the vessel was sent by extragalactic invaders, or was, despite indeterminate photographic evidence at best, a single giant robot. Some sources even claimed that Sovereign was alive. Such conjecture, however baseless, remains to this day. The Krogan homeworld boasts extreme temperatures, virulent diseases, and vicious predatory fauna. Around 1900 BCE, the Krogan discovered atomic power promptly instigated many intraplanetary wars, sending Tachanka into a nuclear winter. With most of their industrial base destroyed, the Krogan entered a new dark age, and warring tribal bands dominated. 
Populations remained low for the next 2,000 years. First contact with the Salarians made resurgence possible. Krogan brought to less hostile planets bred exponentially and returned to reconquer their home. They built vast underground shelters to shield themselves from surface radiation, which proved prescient during the Krogan rebellions, when many of them isolated themselves in a vain attempt to avoid the genophage. Convinced they could outbreed the genophage, they transmitted it into more than 90% of the sealed bunkers. Today, Tuchanka's population is sharply limited, and while individual Krogan are long-lived, the genophage ensures few replacements. A sup? Following the Battle of the Citadel, human and Turian volunteers conducted a massive three-month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists, salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Contrary to popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive Element Zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron-uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor-piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal, accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. The Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. 